We showed you those celebrations in Kansas City a few minutes ago. Tonight in San Francisco, Chiefs fans literally jumping for joy inside Buzzworks. The uh, Soma District Bar hosted a Chiefs only watch party. Several people who came told us that they're from Missouri. They're in town for work. Others were Missouri transplants or from the Midwest in general. They were all ecstatic to see the Chiefs win. Mom's magic turned out, you know, like it always does, second half of the game. Um, I won't lie and say that I wasn't worried for a little bit, but I mean, held faith and we turned out all right. And we're so happy to enjoy the Chiefs game in San Francisco. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Yeah, they're definitely happy. Niners fans, this is what Niners fans were hoping to be like tonight with the reason with the big win, but they didn't get it. So anyway, very different night for Niners fans. Indeed, and 49ers CEO Jed York took to social media after the game, writing, proud of our team. This loss is beyond tough. Love each and every player, coach, and staff member. Sorry we couldn't finish it. Faithful. Oakland native Vice President Kamala Harris posting this message, which reads in part, quote, from this Niners fan to Chiefs Kingdom, congratulations on your Super Bowl victory. I'll see you at the White House. All right, 49er fans in San Francisco, they were getting ready for a wild night of celebrations, but the last minute loss doused those plans for sure. Yeah, NBC Bay Area's Tom Jensen spent the night at the team's official watch party, and Tom fans left very disappointed. Oh, they sure did. Uh, Terry and Gia, the, the whole city is really deflated. And Thrive City, where there was 2,500 49ers fans, was really deflated uh, after this loss. And so similar to the one four years ago uh, when the Chiefs beat them after they had a 10-point lead in 2020 and then lost that Super Bowl. Thrive City was packed from start to finish. And the team did not disappoint for most of the game, taking a seven-point lead in the halftime and then the team just gave fans plenty of reasons to stay hopeful and celebrate uh, as they uh, took them even into overtime and were leading with the two minutes left. But when Kansas City scored that final touchdown, you could really feel the air leave Thrive City, leaving San Francisco fans deflated. Still Niner fans to the end. Still Niner fans to the end. We'll get them back next year. They really did have a great season. Uh, the drought continues, though, 29 years and counting uh, from the last Super Bowl win. But boy, what a great, uh, what a great game! This was the only the second Super Bowl that went to an overtime uh, loss just by that. Uh, by three points in the end and a lot to look forward to as you heard fans say uh, and a season to really be proud of. We're live in San Francisco, Tom Jensen, NBC Barrier News. All right, Tom, thanks very much. Boys are quiet on the streets down there. All things considered, a very quiet night in San Francisco. Video from our Sky Ranger shows a, uh, a small crowd at 24th and Treat in the Mission District. Road closures uh, are still in place for parts of the Mission. Also off ramps along 101 and 280. But uh, everything expected to be open by midnight, about 45 minutes from right now.